thank you for uh, the organizers to invite me to this uh, wonderful workshop. So, uh, this is the first workshop I uh, came to, uh, which is the workshop focused on uh, one particular material. So, uh, I like it very much. It's, uh, uh, stimulated lots of uh, very interesting discussion. So, so I'm Shidai from uh, Institute of Physics uh, in Beijing. So in this, on this work, I'm collaborating uh, with my uh, former student, uh, Rui Yu. He uh, is now working in NIMS in Japan. So the, this is the outline of my talk. So first of all, I, I'm going to classify uh, all the possible surface states. Because first, I need to define what is pseudo speed? Because in the uh, topology industry, uh, we are talking about uh, surface states. So uh, we're usually talking about the spin texture of the surface states. But uh, in the theory side, usually spin texture uh, implies it's the, it's the pseudo spin texture. And uh, in experimentalists, for experimentalists, people mostly think about the real spin texture, right? right? So then, uh, uh, and sometimes, uh, to, to measure, uh, in order to measure the real spin texture, people use spin resolved objects as a, a direct uh, method to, to see the, the spins in the crystal. So then, uh, there's a relationship between uh, pseudo spin, real spin, and the, the signal you see in the spin resolved objects. So then uh, the first step in my uh, talk, I'm going to actually make a clear definition for the pseudo speed. So what we're seriously talking about, uh, uh, what's the definition of the, of the pseudo speed? So uh, in order to do that, I need to classify all the possible situations of the topological insulator surface states. So then uh, I will define the pseudo spin um, uh, for topological uh, surface states. Then I will actually uh, look into the surface states in uh, Somalia or Hesebora. So I will propose that the, the surface states in Somalia or is a new type of uh, topological surface state compared to uh, Bismuthian. It's, uh, it's a new type. So then, uh, uh, finally, I will, I will discuss the possible consequence in the uh, spin resolved objects for some of the So uh, this is a, a, a very typical topological insulator uh, uh, band structure. Then uh, for those uh, topological non-trivial uh, insulators, you will see uh, very good linear dispersed um, uh, direct cones uh, on the surface. Then. Uh, then, uh, uh, then people are talking about spin momentum locking for the surface states. So then uh, there are uh, three possible meanings of this uh, spin momentum locking. And this, uh, the meaning of spin can be pseudo spin. So what is pseudo spin? It's the components of two surface state at gamma state uh, at gamma point, or any high symmetry uh, k point satisfy k minus. Uh, uh, k equals minus k. So we call uh, this uh, sort of time reversal invariant k point. So on any time reversal uh, k point, uh, like gamma point, you have time reversal <laughs> symmetry. So then you have uh, the prime uh, doublet. The band must, uh, the surface band must be doubly degenerate. So you have two states at, uh, for example, at the gamma point. So then uh, these two states, we can uh, name it one. One of the states may it to be one half, the other one is minus one half. So these two states are related by time reversal symmetry. So if you apply time reversal symmetry to one state, it will go to the other state. So this is pseudo speed, the definition of the pseudo speed. And also, but but uh, I would answer that uh, the definition of the pseudo speed is not uh, uh, pinned down because uh, you still have the possibility to get a linear uh, combination of these two uh, to define it uh, a, a new pseudo spin. So uh, it's uh, uh, if you define the pseudo spin uh, by this, it's still some uh, ambiguity as a as a um, SU two rotation ambiguity. You have to pin it down. 
So then the, uh, this is pseudo spin. So real spin is very simple. Real spin is the ex expectation value of the uh, electron spin operator. So for any a given uh, state, uh, a broad state, you can calculate this spin expectation value to see uh, the average uh, spin uh, operator of this state. So then uh, the third uh, one to define the spin uh, is the angular momentum. So we know that uh, for, for a broad state, uh, you, not, uh, you can have possibly spin component, but also uh, can have, uh, possibly have the orbital angular momentum component. So uh, you can also define the angular momentum as the as your 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 spin in your uh, in the block state. So there's three definitions. So then uh, I I begin with the pseudo spin. So to clearly define the pseudo spin, we first uh, we introduce the analog between translation and rotation in uh, crystal. So let's see. Uh, start from translation. So for uh, electron moving in a free space, you have. Uh, complete translation of symmetry. The system is unchanged by translation of any uh, vector. Uh, uh, it's, uh, the system is uh, unchanged because the, the, the vacuum is uniform. So then after a, uh, a crystallization, a the electron in the crystal, so the, the, the translation symmetry has been broken. But it's, it's not completely broken. It's break from a continuous symmetry to a a discretized symmetry. So in crystal, the translational symmetry is not a continuum symmetry. It's a, become a discretized. So uh, uh, the system is only uh, unchanged if you um, translate the system uh, by some certain vector R n, right? So uh, because the, uh, my uh, crystal is periodic. So in, then uh, uh, this is what happens in real space. So in momentum space, so before, in a free space, the momentum is uh, completely conserved. So, uh, but then uh, if you reduce the uh, translation from uh, continuous translation to uh, discretized uh, translation, the momentum conservation is also changed. So that the uh, momentum of uh, particle is conserved up to a reciprocal lattice vector Gn. So uh, the momentum is not um, uh, conserved as the way in the in, in the vacuum in the free space. It's conserved up to some uh, some let, uh, reciprocal lattice vector Gn. So we can define a crystal momentum K is defined only within the first brain zone. Because on the second brain zone is uh, a duplicate of the first brain zone. So then uh, we can copy the same idea to rotation. So uh, we know that uh, for our crystal, uh, we don't have continuous uh, rotation operation. But we have uh, the discretized rotation operation. It's like uh, we, have, we can have a rotation along some specific axis. We have C2, C3, C4, and C6. So this discretized rotation can uh, behave like very similarly with the uh, discretized uh, translation. So it's, uh, the consequence is that uh, uh, before, if for, in a free system, if you have, if you have a, a um, continuous rotation, your angle momentum along z direction, along that rotation uh, axis, is conserved completely conserved. Now, the angular momentum is conserved up to n. n is the, the, the fold of your rotation axis. If, if your rotation symmetry is C4, the n is 4. So, right, so they, then we can uh, uh, add some special k point. So the, in the brain zone, it's not, uh, the rotation symmetry is not uh, exist at, each, uh, at every k point, but at some special k point, like the gamma point, for example, we take the, the, the gamma point uh, as the simplest uh, example. So we can define a crystal angle momentum. So the crystal ang angle momentum J crystal Z is defined only within the first uh, angular brain zone. 
So uh, you can take JZ uh, value from uh, n. Uh, for example, if for n equals to uh, four for the for the C four system, uh, you have two. Uh, you you have actually uh, four a different uh, uh, crystal angle momentum from uh, minus three half to uh, plus three half. So uh, this is the uh, uh, the so-called crystal angle momentum. So we actually in the topology insulator we use this crystal angle momentum as a definition of pseudo spin. So for example. Uh, if at gamma point we have C4 rotational symmetry and we know uh, uh, we also have uh, time reversal symmetry, of course. So then the, the, uh, the state at the gamma point, the surface state at the gamma point can be uh, classified into two different cases. So one is plus minus one half. The other one is plus one minus three half. So why I cannot have plus minus five half? Because Plus minus five half is already in the second grand node. Is it because uh, the minus five half is equivalent to plus three half because the difference is four. Four is equal is the, the rotational um, symmetry of my gamma point. So yeah. So uh, with that, we can uh, classify all the possible uh, topological surface states. Um, in for any topological insulators. So this is the table for the classification. So uh, at uh, the lowest uh, rotational symmetry I can have is C2. So for the C2 case, for the for if my crystal has a very low rotational symmetry, the only possible case I can have is uh, plus minus one half. Then for C3, which is the case of um, uh, bismuth sandite. I'm allowed to have a uh, uh, plus minus one half and a plus minus three half. So uh, the, uh, for plus one uh, minus one half, uh, that it's the typical situation for the most studied uh, topological issue, the bismuth sandite and the bismuth territe. So the surface states are all belong to uh, plus minus one half. And uh, and. Uh, we can actually easily prove that for plus minus one half, the Dirac cone uh, is real Dirac cone. <coughs> the linear uh, order is, uh, is k, k linear. But if you go to like uh, in the in the C three case, if you go, you are also allowed to have uh, plus minus three half. So if we are lucky enough. To have a plus minus three half surface states for a C three system at uh, the gamma point, then it's very interesting. Uh, the uh, the linear term is forbidden, just by symmetry. So uh, the uh, lowest order I can have is k to the order three. So uh, yeah, uh, then uh, if you we calculate, uh, calculate the density of states at uh, the crossing point, the density of state will diverge. So such kind of uh, uh, KQ uh, dispersion is uh, uh, non-stable. So I think uh, Kai Sam has a very nice paper about this quadratic band touching theory in the, in the two dimension. But this one is actually more singular than the quadratic touching. Uh, the density of states will actually diverge. So there's lots of uh, uh, interesting uh, exotic uh, things may happen if the chemical potential is cut this crossing point exactly or close to that. So this is the, the C3 case. So for the C4 case, uh, we also allowed to have plus minus one half and plus minus three half. So uh, I don't have any uh, example for like, uh, uh, plus minus one half uh, one half for the uh, real material, but uh, for Samari has a bori at uh, zero zero one surface. Um, it's it belongs to this uh, category. It's uh, uh, plus minus three half states, and uh, but uh, it's, uh, the lowest uh, energy model is still linear. Then uh, the most interesting thing is if 
I can have uh, highest uh, Lorentz symmetry in the in the insoluble C six. If I can have a, a, a surface state, a topological surface state, uh, on some special uh, crystal plane which has C six symmetry, then the way can have a, a way allowed to have a plus minus one half, plus minus three half, and a plus minus uh, five half. So again, uh, the situation for plus minus three half is, is the most interesting one because the a dispersion is the become a K cube and it's unstable uh, against any perturbation. Right. How is zero zero one different than one zero zero? As zero zero one, the symmetry is not. Zero zero one has C four symmetry. One 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 has C three symmetry. But no, the C two case one zero zero. Uh, of SMB six one zero zero. Oh, as one zero zero, but at X point. Oh. Okay. At X point, you don't have uh, C four symmetry. You only have C two. Right. Yeah. So, uh, uh, in the. Uh, Topological uh, theoretical material has been discovered now. Uh, I, I did some uh, material research. It turns out that uh, uh, in order to get this K cube uh, a dispersion, possible K cube dispersion, that the only uh, known case is the Samadhi Hasebori along the one one direction. But we did the one one direction surface calculation, and uh, we found that uh, the surface states. It's not located at gamma. It's located at the endpoint, and that the endpoint has only C two symmetry. Don't don't have any C three. Uh, then the possible way to, to do that, because we know that uh, um, this is not um, necessary to happen, we can actually change the surface potential. Uh, once we change, yeah. Endpoint has C three, right? Endpoint on the hexagonal. No, no. K point has C three. M point is the is this the, the, the middle between two K points. Right, right, right. You ro rotate uh, two pi over three is uh, uh, <coughs> Yeah, so we can discuss later. I think M point has no C three. So uh, only at the gamma point. So you will need to actually push uh, these three uh, direct points to the gamma point. Then uh, you can see this uh, K cube dispersion. So then you have to actually uh, modify the surface condition. But uh, uh, yeah, that may be very difficult, but uh, still something we can try. So then uh, with this definition, uh, let's look at uh, the spin texture in uh, bismuth cyanide. <coughs> so this is the spin texture calculated by a uh, tide mining model. You'll see that a very uh, clear um, chiral texture, spin texture in, on, the, on the Fermi surface. And uh, then uh, this can be described by a simple uh, direct model. So you see you have uh, one half state, minus half state, and uh, the matrix element here is K plus to actually satisfy this rotation symmetry. So this is the definition of my uh, uh, pseudo spin. So the, the definition is the eigenstates of the rotational uh, rotation operator. So in the uh, bismuth cyanide is C3, so it's uh, both one half and uh, minus one half refer to the uh, eigenstates of the uh, uh, C3 operator. So then uh, 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 we can uh, set, uh, write down the very uh, simple uh, direct model to the lowest order. It's uh, K plus here, K minus here. Then uh, this is for uh, pseudo spin. So for real spin, because real spin is an operator, it can be always uh, expanded in this two by uh, in this two by two subspace. So then, uh, in general, that uh, tensor re relates the uh, iso spin or uh, pseudo spin to real spin. So then, uh, this uh, we have that uh, so-called spin effect tensor for for the real spin, and also we can by the same way we can define the Total angle momentum. Just total angle momentum is an operator. It can be uh, projected into this two by two uh, subspace. So then it can be always uh, expanded using the, this the Pauli matrix. So uh, so we have two uh, uh, 
a defect tensor, one describe the real spin, the other one describe uh, uh, this angle, causal angle momentum. So then uh, for Bismuth standard, the, the situation is very simple. This both GS and the J uh, tensor is propor uh, proportional to uh, an identity. So that this I, uh, uh, pseudo spin, uh, real spin, and uh, uh, total angle momentum in uh, Bismuth standard, they are proportional to each other. Uh, and they point to the same direction. So this is the Bismuth standard. So, now let's uh, turn to uh, Samadhi has a boron. So Samadhi has a boron has a, uh, uh, let's focus on uh, uh, the surface state around the uh, gamma point, because the surface state has uh, the X point uh, only has the two symmetry. So we are um, more interested in the surface state which has a higher rotational symmetry. So this is the, uh, <coughs> The real spin texture for uh, sorry the the, the iso spin uh, texture for for the uh, uh, states at the gamma point. So then uh, uh, the topological surface state at the gamma point in some uh, in uh, some other kinds of ball, right, can be written in the following. So then uh, uh, the uh, surface state near the gamma point can be uh, written by the linear combination of two states at uh, the gamma, which is uh, minus three half and plus three half. They are always like uh, uh, the linear combination like this. So then uh, we uh, calculate the defect tensor for, uh, if we define the uh, minus three half to be pseudo spin down and the plus three half to be pseudo spin up, then uh, we have uh, such kind of defect tensor. Then, so then the, uh, that will give you uh, a, a real spin texture like this. So, so yeah. yeah, is it fair to say this is kind of a Lande G factor for for the surface states? Right, it's but sort of like a Lande G factor only in this. Right, 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 right. Uh, just in this particular uh, uh, crystal environment yeah. at gamma point. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, question. Yeah. So any any constraint on this uh, G matrix? Uh, how about its trace? Any, any right, right, right. Uh, the, the, uh, you can derive lots of um, not lots of several uh, constraints if you apply like mirror symmetry. Okay. Yeah. So we didn't do that, but uh, uh, they uh, they definitely have some constraint. Yeah. But but there's no requirement like a normalization trace to one or something like that. Uh, I think uh, no. A trace to one now. So then uh, this is a comparison between the uh, surface state at a gamma point for uh, bismuth cyanide and uh, some other kinds of right? So for bismuth cyanide, uh, the, the uh, real spin texture, pseudo spin texture, and angle momentum texture is the same. They are rotate along the same direction. So if you look at the business, uh, Samano has a ball, right? So the pseudo spin uh, texture always looks like that. So if you look at uh, start from one point and then you rotate to the K point, uh, anti, uh, like a clockwise along the, this circle, the spin will rotate anti-clockwise. So uh, compared to uh, business satellite, if you rotate uh, clockwise, spin will also rotate clockwise. So the spin rotates with the uh, K point. But in uh, Bismuth Sand, if you look at the ISO spin, it's rotated in an uh, opposite direction of the K point. So then if you look at the real spin, uh, the spin texture is uh, actually the opposite compared to the Bismuth Sand. So, but if you look at the, the, the total angle momentum, it's, uh, it's uh, rotated in the, the other direction. Why is that? Because the surface state of the Bismuth satellite mostly come from uh, uh, this um, uh, uh, the J equal to five half states. So J equal to five half states, the uh, spin part and the angle momentum part, they anti parallel to each other. So that's why the, uh, if you look at the real spin and the total angle momentum, they rotate in the two different uh, directions. Yeah. 
Can I go yeah. back to the free web slides? Okay, so I, I assume this is a, a calculated string structure close to your own point, right? Right. So if you yeah. go far away from your right. point, I will come to that. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all this uh, model, yeah, I forgot to check how much to do the money. So uh, because for somebody has a ball, right? It's 300 equivalent to minus 5 half. So the first order is uh, you have to put k minus in this column. Compared to business standard, it's k plus. So this is uh, totally because of uh, this the representation in the business. Uh, uh, somebody who has a ball, right? Is uh, just uh, uh, plus minus 3 half. It's not like the plus, uh, plus minus 1 half. The biggest difference is that uh, the metrics element at this corner, so for this case it's k plus, and for Samara has a ball it's k minus. Then uh, uh, if Samara has a ball, right, you're allowed to uh, actually have the, the, the third order. So the, the third order is k plus to the order of uh, 3. So uh, this texture is calculated by only include the, the leading terms. If you include the, the sub-leading term, the, the, that will be, yeah, more complicated, yeah. So then uh, here comes the question. We have spin the normal artist to measure, supposed to be the spin in the, in the crystal. So what is measured from the spin of the artist? So pseudo spin, real spin, or total angle momentum? So obviously it's not uh, pseudo spin. The pseudo spin is something created by our theory, uh, theorists. It's not. Uh, uh, it's a, uh, probably different uh, theories to define it in a different way. So, <clears throat> so then, uh, is it a real spin or is total angle momentum? So the answer is the neither of the above. So the the what uh, spin does of our has measured is the spin of the photon electron. You share light to the to your material. You kick an electron out, and you measure the spin of that electron in a vacuum. So, the, uh, so this is the RPS. What RPS did? You put a light. So uh, this is the, the angle we define. Uh, it's, uh, the light, uh, the pointing vector is uh, the angle between the point vector and the, the z direction is theta. And uh, once you project to the plane, uh, it has angle phi. So then uh, this pi, uh, okay, uh, so it's a linear polar, I suppose. So it's a, if you have uh, uh, this uh, pi polarization and the sigma polarization. So then uh, if you look at uh, the, the Hamiltonian, so that uh, actually to calculate uh, the spin uh, result the up as uh, matrix element, you need to calculate this matrix element. It's a, come from uh, k is a, a proper state in your crystal, and f is the free propagating state uh, in the vacuum. So then, the, if you look at uh, the the proper state in your crystal, you can always write it in this way. So because it's a uh, topological surface state, is a system with very strong spin up coupling, and the wave function has the spin up part. Yeah, so this is uh, uh, just like uh, I mentioned before. You got two state at gamma point. One is uh, pseudo spin up, one, and the other one is spin, uh, pseudo spin down. So both states have the uh, actually uh, u part, which is the uh, spin up, and the, uh, u zero part, and u one part is the uh, spin down. So then the, uh, the actually these parts actually can couple to to the light. Just uh, remember your uh, matrix element of uh, uh, a light. Uh, you need to ca uh, calculate a dot p. So, so the most part of the, the p actually acting on uh, on this. Uh, uh, I mean the spatial component of your in your wave function. So then that depends on. Uh, the polarization of your light, it can couple more to to U zero part. You can also, if you change the uh, the direction of your polarization, it can couple more to the U one part. So then, uh, by changing the polarization direction, you can take more spin up part or take more spin down part. So then, uh, by changing the the uh, polarization direction, you can actually change. 
that the spin of your photon electron. So then the, the uh, depends on the the uh, power polarization direction. Uh, the uh, result of your spin object, uh, spin result objects actually can be different. So then we did the uh, very simple calculation. So this is actually the, the uh, spin or the final state. So the final state, you have uh, spin up part, spin down part, and the, the ratio of the spin up part and spin down part actually can determine the, the spin direction of your, your final state. So it can be calculated uh, simply by, uh, uh, by this equation. Okay, so uh, yeah, I will be finished very soon. So uh, then uh, for bismuth selenide, we can actually just apply uh, some selection loop of the, uh, the optical theory. Then uh, you can easily prove that uh, there are actually two independent components, A and, uh, and the C. So then uh, 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 it depends on uh, the your polarization direction, you can calculate. Uh, uh, so this is for sigma polarized light. If you uh, assume some uh, uh, arbitrary uh, some metric element uh, A, then uh, you can actually calculate uh, the real spin. So this is the spin for the final states. So you can see that uh, uh, this is the case for the uh, sigma polarized light. And also for p polarized light, I probably don't have uh, time to go through, but I just uh, show you here. Uh, once you change your uh, light polarization direction, the pattern will be very different. So then the circular polarized light. So this is, yeah, so also you can calculate the circular dichroism for J yeah, effective plus metal for bismuth cyanide. So also uh, we can cap at do the same calculation for bismuth's uh, uh, samario has a ball line. So in samario has a ball line, we have only one parameter because if you look at the selection loop, the, the final state can only allow to have plus, uh, plus minus one half. And your initial state is plus minus three half. So that only, uh, this A, B is, can be related by uh, time reversal symmetry. So the B is actually A star. So then uh, you did the, the similar calculation, you get uh, see that uh, uh, you can compare the difference between the bismuth to uh, a, a bismuth cyanide and the samaria has a ball line. You will see the pattern is actually different. You rotate your uh, uh, light polarization direction, so the whole pattern actually rotates in uh, two different directions. So in samaria has a ball line, it, it rotates uh, actually uh, anti clockwise, and of course, uh, samaria has a ball line, it, it rotates in uh, the opposite direction compared to bismuth cyanide. So yeah, so here the circular polarized and uh, uh, this is the, uh, I, summarize, I summarize it in a table. So I would uh, uh, emphasize that uh, uh, the uh, bismuth cyanide we have a uh, uh, circular, uh, circular dichroism, but uh, for bismuth cyanide, if you only keep the leading order, you don't have a circular dichroism. Circular dichroism comes from the third order. Uh, but then uh, that means if your uh, pocket is small enough close to gamma point, uh, you won't see uh, any uh, circular dichroism uh, signal from uh, some minor hexaboral. Right? Okay, so I don't I think I, I should stop here. And uh, yeah, thank you for your attention. Open for future or comment? Yeah. Um, does this spin or two spin or angular, angular momentum yeah. carry any real magnetic moment? Uh, yes, it's, it carries a magnetic moment, uh, but in, mom in momentum space. Yeah, uh, yeah. Really, wait, real spin or angular momentum? Uh, all of the three. Oh. It's related to, because uh, it, these three quantities can be related to each other by uh, some G factor tensor. So you're saying that magnitude is saying your action is different. Right. Uh, in my definition, if I uh, define it uh, by uh, um, this uh, eigenstates of the rotation operator, 
So it must carry, uh, pseudospin must carry angular momentum. So, so the, uh, yeah. Sand texture will cause you to show in the wild sand metal. All the spin texture looks like that. Oh, yeah, I don't have time to go through the wild sand metal. So, this is the spin texture. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just give a quick uh, show of the wild sand metal. This is the wild sand, uh, the wild, uh, location of the wild points for uh, tail of uh, an arsenic. We have 24 different uh, wild points in the brain zone. So, then uh, uh, this is the movie, I think. You can uh, rotate a little bit then uh, to see uh, how they located in the brain zone. You don't have time to go through the whole movie. So then, uh, if you look at uh, the yeah spin texture for uh, so this is the real spin texture in the in the momentum space uh, 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 close to one uh, wild point. So you will see that uh, near the uh, so we just plot uh, uh, zooming a very small area. Uh, near the uh, one particular wild point, you will see that the spin almost uh, point to point to the same direction. So it's uh, this is uh, not uh, yeah the spin texture in uh, I mean the real spin texture for a wild point is not uh, universal, but for this particular material it's very interesting. So near the uh, particular uh, each particular wild point. It looks like a ferromagnetic uh, yeah, phase. The, the spin near that K point point to uh, almost a point to the same direction. Um, of course, it will cancel by the other uh, Y point, the point to uh, uh, where the spin is point to an uh, opposite direction. But uh, near one particular Y point, they, the spin is actually point to almost the same direction. So this is uh, probably a very good uh, uh, Case to be studied by spin resolved darkness. Yeah. Uh, Jz. The Jz are single state determinants, right? Uh, Jz. The Jz are single state determinants. Jz is an operator. It's not a range. But, sorry, but you're, the way you're solving it, you're taking either some plus one half or minus one half. How is it right. that your electron is based on a single state determinant? What does it do to select? Oh, you mean uh, it's a manipulative state? Yeah. No, no. Here we just classify uh, all of the single particle states. Right, but the question yeah. is uh, how do we know that in reality the yeah. electron is made of single large states? Oh, this is the full topological theory, uh, topological insulator theory based on. So the, this the surface state. Uh, even uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, uh, in the quasi particle language, even in uh, some other case of Borai, in the quasi particle language, you can uh, at least at the mean field level uh, write them into yeah, so it's a determinant. Yeah. Uh, I actually have exactly the same. Right. Question. So, yeah. uh, so if I if I take a samarium and be samarium two plus two samarium two plus, good. Yeah. Remove an electron from two plus and put uh -huh. it into a D, right. for example, right? And then I would get a three plus uh, type state. But mm -hmm. one's got to realize that the samarium two plus, for example, mm -hmm. has a spin of three, an orbital angular momentum of three, and they cancel each other. Right. 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 Yeah. And the samarium three plus has a spin of five halves, right. yeah, a spin of five halves, right. an L of five, right. and a J of five halves. Right. So the J of five halves looks like a single particle K, but it's not. It's, it's a, a very it's not, many yeah. body thing. Yeah. So does that make a difference to using, I, I really don't have a yeah. clue as to whether it matters, mm -hmm. uh, whether you do the real thing or whether you do mm -hmm. treat it as if it was a single particle problem. Yeah, this is a very good question. Uh, the question is how to relate to, the, to yeah. uh, this spin of, of the multiples, yeah. which is defined in atomic physics um, in, the, in the local picture. So uh, here, the spin is defined, uh, the, the JZ, or the, uh, the, uh, all this uh, rotation is defined in the momentum space for uh, an itinerant uh, block wave function. So how are they related to each other? So then my uh, answer to this question is that um, uh, 
Now here we always uh, define, uh, consider those quasi-particle states. So the quasi-particle states is in the momentum space is itinerant. So at least uh, as long as you have quasi-particle picture, you can do your uh, classification like this. So it's uh, probably not directly related to the multiple states in the local picture. Yeah, but but a local thing, so a neat material. That yeah. is, I mean the fact that in photoreaction right. you yeah. see the J equals seven half state. Right. Right. Uh, the J equals seven half means yeah. that your initial state for J equals zero <coughs> has seven halves in it. Otherwise, you could yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. 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 The wave function is uh, just like uh, uh, you have a quasi particle part, you have uh, atomic high energy atomic part, like uh, Hubble beds or yeah, something. Yeah. But the, this classification is only for the quasi particle part. So the question really is your yeah. quasi particle itself, yeah. as you move uh, an electron from one mm -hmm. site to the other, right, right, right. going from 2 plus to 3 plus and yeah. so on, then you are carrying along uh, yeah. many body configurations. Like of course, of course, yeah. Like sure, sure, sure. And yeah. the question is whether that matters. Uh, uh, to you, or yeah. matters in a, in, a, in a topological type of uh, mm -hmm. theory. So uh, this uh, many-body uh, state can actually, uh, the fluctuation in the many-body state can, uh, in, in our quasi-particle language, it will actually renormalize, the, for example, the crystal field. So then if the, the renormalization is so big, uh, if for some uh, very special reason, so for some particular reason, the normality should come from the many body physics can actually reverse uh, the crystal field splitting. Then, uh, so before the reversion, we have the topological incident, and then the many body effect can actually probably cancel this problem. Yeah, that's possible. That's yeah. possible. Yeah. 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 Just to add to yeah. George's point, in your yeah. approach, you basically assume that the matrix elements for right. removing an F electron or adding an F electron right. to uh, solarium free class yeah. um, are those of the bare F electron in a J equals five halves state. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. But in principle that matrix element could actually be a, um, could could be itself a matrix in spin space as okay, right. with with also weird numbers that go in it as well, mm -hmm. with minus signs even. Uh, mm -hmm. And so right. and so it's not at all obvious starting from scratch that that will add some interesting quirks or to even rotation mm -hmm. spin tension. Uh, I mean this analyze is completely from uh, this um, I would say it's from non-interacting picture. Right, yes, so uh, right. it's, uh, just um, uh, consider the crystal symmetry yeah. at uh, some uh, particular k point. So then uh, we assume that our uh, um, uh, quasi particle state behave uh, qualitatively just like uh, yeah band state. But that's so, the adiabatic assumption that. that and are famously yeah. used, and yeah. we all follow slavishly. Um, right. Of course, right. assumes conservation laws of spin right, and right, right, else, right. and all uh -huh. those fail in this in all yeah. the couple of environment. Uh, okay. As long as the quasi particle picture is valid, I think. Yeah, quasi particle picture does not the quasi particle means they are interacting. Uh, the quasi particle picture may be perfectly right. valid, but it may be that the yeah. spin. Carried by the quasi particle is different to the spin of the of the non-interacting model uh, that we are using to map it on. Um, I think in the symmetry point of view they are the same. No, there's no I, conservation. There's no conservation law here. Oh, there's no. I, I didn't use any uh, spin conservation or something. I just uh, only thing I need is the this the uh, state, the quasi particle state at the gamma point should be the eigenstate of my uh, C C four operation. So this is from uh, just uh, growth theory. Yeah, but in terms yeah. of rotating to get the physical spin of the electron yeah. coming out. Oh yeah. Of so that's, that's the point. Yeah. Yeah. Very important. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, from the pseudo spin to real spin. <coughs> so this number is calculated by LDA plus So this particular number might be not so accurate. Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, the, the, the form is actually determined by symmetry only. So I think uh, the, the form is actually uh, more reliable than the number. Yeah. So you, yeah. you maybe talked about this before, but yeah. uh, I don't think it's right to say, oh, there's these multiplets, yeah. and then there's the quasi-particle. Mm -hmm. uh, because certainly if we look at angle result correlation for SMB6, mm -hmm. the, the quasi-particle is the multiple. That related. It, that yeah. it, it just is. So the yeah. final set of screens when you take the electron out right, 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 right. are some kind of so, slightly dispersing yeah. object yeah. that for sure is, is in exactly the right energy position to be the multiple. Uh, the multiple, I think uh, that's multiple part and also the quasi part. Uh, <laughs> that's, all, that's, my, that's my belief. I know, I know now you we can believe see. it, but if you look at the data, right, you'll right. find that the... No, that the uh, if you calculate it by DMFT, you do find these two parts. Actually, you don't. <laughs> I, I would say that, that the data that we saw this morning from yeah. DMFT yeah. simply showed the multiplet with a little bit of, of, of dispersion. Yes, this so is in the multiple part. So the multiple so yeah. ten, ten millivolts below the chemical. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's the uh, that's the yeah. band, that's the gap. So that, that's in the so for the MFT calculation, the in the bulk, just you have a gap. So your multiple state and your quasi particle state, they they almost are sitting at the same energy. So they uh, mix uh, together, but the inside gap for surface states. So uh, we have a small window that for the surface state, uh, this quasi-particle uh, states can be a little bit away from their multiple states. So uh, yeah, that's my point. So in, the, in this material, probably the right place to find the quasi-particle behavior is inside the gap for, uh, on the surface states. So, so that's still so what you're saying is, so what you're yeah. saying, you're not calculating the F spec away. Mm -hmm. you can kind of the like these specs away, somehow it's... It's the same, yeah. Because it's only determined, uh, the only thing matters here is the symmetry. It's a, it's a, uh, you can use the point group representation to classify the quasi particle state at the gamma point. As long as you have quasi particle states, yeah, this kind of, uh, you can apply this, this kind of classification. If the metabolic effect is so strong that it breaks down the quasi particle state entirely, then the, all these series can just fail. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. a quick comment on skin conservation. Yeah. In order to cut you by yourself, it has nothing to skin conservation. It just open right. the skin. Right. All it does is that now orbital scattering can cause skin uh, conservation violation. So right. uh, when you have skin orbit coupling, that by itself will do nothing to skin conservation. It right. is pretty poorly conserved. Mm -hmm. But the only thing I'd like to start is that you have momentum scattering. Yeah. That will contribute to violation of skin conservation. Right. So you are talking about impurely scattering. Yeah, any yeah. kind of right, 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 normally yeah. momentum yeah. Uh, scattering yeah. doesn't cause uh -huh. skin conservation violation. Uh -huh. No, that, that's the only yeah. new thing that I'm doing. Yeah. But I have a question for you. Yeah. If theory predicts a pseudo spin texture, right. then I think that will imply a spin texture also. Right. Which is what is the experiment saying? That's a different question. Right. Uh, but I think this is my chief factor. Right. Yeah. Any definition of pseudo spin. If you get a single spin texture theory, that implies a spin texture model. Right. Yeah, it's related by G effect. Yeah, it's very simple. Yeah. Okay, so we have a nice discussion. <laughs>